What is up, guys? I'm back for some. My last World of War commentary until Black Ops. I did a severe miscalculation and I accidentally and I bundled in a lot of stuff. And this is just going to be my last gameplay for World of War. It's Team Deathmatch 18. And today I shall discuss the history of the first ever assault rifle the Sturm Gewehr 1944. The STG 44, which is also known as the MP 44 and the MP 43 was a assault rifle created in Nazi Germany in 1944. If you look at this gun, it is basically a hybrid of the Carbiner 98 Kirks, the Gewehr 43, and the MP40. Now, how is it a hybrid? It has the Gewehr body. What I mean by that, the iron sights and the um, body look a lot alike. And the way it's a hybrid of the MP40 is from its fire rate. It has a good fire rate, almost that of an MP40, if not that of an MP40. Now, the hybrid of it that makes from the Carbiner 98 Kirks is that the round they used for the Sturm Gewehr when it was created, um, they took a Carbiner 98 Kirks round, which was a 7.92 by 57 millimeter round, I do believe. Yeah, it was a 9 point, yeah, that's it. yeah, that's the round. And, um, basically they used that and then they cut it down some, and then they used that as the round for the assault rifle. Now, I'm not quite sure about how many guns this produced, because this gun was a very good gun. It was the first assault rifle, so it was good. Um, But it really didn't make a difference for Nazi Germany, and the reason it really didn't make a difference for Nazi Germany is because it was done so late in the war. I believe it was done in the later years of 1944. And by that time, we've already been pushing them back so far out of so many countries, and we got them around the lines of the... um of their borders in Germany. So it really didn't make a difference, but it did help them try to keep the Allies back from taking Germany and last them a little bit longer. Um, personally, if I was in World War II, I would not like to face this gun. The few weapons I would not like to face from Germany in the World War II would be the Machine Gewehr 1942, which was the MG42. The Sturm Gewehr, and I would not like to face the Car 98K. That that thing's a pretty good, that thing's a very good rifle. Now, how is the Sturm Gewehr used in game? And yes, it is pronounced Sturm Gewehr. Um, it is probably the best. It's the only automatic assault rifle in the game. Um, it has doesn't have the best damage in the world, but it's got pretty decent damage. So stopping power is pretty much a necessity, but you can get away with double tap sometimes. Um, I recommend either you, all attachments work well on it with n also no attachments, but um, the attachment I would stay away from is the telecopter sight. It's not a bad attachment for the gun, it's just outclassed by the flash hider and the aperture sight. Uh, little random fact, there was no aperture sight in World at War. In World War II, I don't know why they put one in the game. I don't even know where they got aperture sight from. Um, it shoots a 30 round clip of the shortened 7.92 by 57 millimeter rounds. Um, and actually, a little lesser known thing about this was that when they created Hitler, um, did not want this gun produced because he believed in more conventional weapons, even though he had the um, Wonder of Science project going where he was creating all sorts of machines from jet fighters to developing atomic bombs to the V1 and V2, the Vengeance 1 and V2 rockets. And um, basically, when this gun was created, he said for not to use it. But um, I believe it was a few of his generals that put this in production without Hitler knowing. And um, it proved very well in the battlefield. And when Hitler asked his generals, like, what do his troops need? Um, they said more Sturmgewehrs, and I believe he just like looked them and pointed his f and, like basically what they basically a uh, representative of this is like he points his finger. He's like, "Oh, you, you sneaky devil!" And um, basically it proved well on the battlefield, and Hitler was proven wrong, so he developed it a lot, and that's really the main reasons why the Grand was more needed for this because Japan only had stick, they had they had no semi-automatic um. Rifles, so a semi-automatics would more needed on the uh, 
German theater because you do face semi-automatics, um, better machine guns. The, the machine gun there, 1942, is a very good machine gun. Um, in real life and in this game. In this game, it is the best machine gun, but the Browning is a close second. Um, and basically, we had to put more grants to there, so more people in Japan had to get the 1903 Springfield because it was bolt action. But on to what Japan's weapon was. Japan had no semi-automatic. Well, they did develop one semi-automatic weapon um, based on the capture M1 Garands. Garands. Um, and it was called the Type 6 rifle. And this wasn't put into effect because they was late developed so late in the war and because we bombed all the factories they couldn't even get enough. And it was so late in the war that we weren't even married. We were taking um, Okinawa at that point. We were, we were close to taking Okinawa at that point. Oh, excuse me. Belched. Basically, um, their machine guns were stick mad, so they only had like 30 rounds. I'm not sure why they could have an extend. So they ran out of ammo really quick. And their bolt action rifle, um, the the Arisaka, which is also known as, which is also named the Type 38, um, wasn't a bad, it was a good bolt action rifle, and they know how to use it well. Um, that's pretty much the history of the Storm Cadet. I wonder what else I can talk to you about now. Let's talk a little bit about Black Ops since I'm on, since I have nothing else to talk about. Um, basically, I'm now going to delete all the footage on my hard drive, and tomorrow. While I am in school, my grandfather, if he's kind enough, will actually um pick up Cody Black House while I'm in school from GameStop. And basically, when I get home, he'll give me the game and I'll play uh, the hours on record. And because of clean space, it'll be easy to um find you know the footage. And then I'm going to put a first my first match with first impressions of the game. So far, what I've seen, I'm actually like watching a live stream of JustinTV.com. It looks fair. It look. It looks like the most balanced Call of Duty yet. But um, that's it for me. I pretty much done all I could talk about. But peace out, guys. My name is Thomas Sturmgewett, 1944.